Hey all, today we are going to continue talking about solving equations, but today we're going to change things up a little bit and we're going to solve equations that have multiple variables in them. And we call those types of equations literal equations. So here I have an equation. It's got three different letters in it, Z, M, and A. And we want to solve it for A. And so we're going to do the same thing we would do if we were trying to solve an equation for X. And X was the only letter, but we had numbers in it. We want to get A by itself. And so we need to move it to a side where it's all by itself and move everything else to the other side of the equal sign. And so we can do that by moving things and doing opposite operations. So right now, A is dividing M, and we don't want it doing that. And so we're going to move A over to this side of the equation. Right now, it's doing division. And so when we move it to the other side of the equal sign, it's going to do the opposite operation, and it's going to multiply Z. The only way we can multiply when we have different letters is by writing them next to each other. So a times Z is just going to look like A, Z. And then M is going to be by itself now. So if we were asking you to solve for M, we would be done. But we want to solve for A. And so now we need to move this Z away from A. Right now, Z is multiplying A. And so when we move it over, it's going to divide M and look like that. We can't go any further. We can't actually combine any of these things because they're different letters. All we're doing is trying to get A by itself. So we're getting letter A by itself. So we can really solve any equation by getting the variable we want alone. So now we want x alone. We want x all by itself. That's what it means to solve for x here. So I'm going to move everything away from x and try to get x on, this, on one side of the equal sign all by itself. So right now, x is with c. They are being multiplied. I want c to come over here so that x could be alone. C is multiplying X right now. So when it goes across the equal sign, when it goes to the opposite side of the equal sign, it does the opposite operation. So instead of multiplying, it is going to divide G. And now X is all alone. And I've solved that literally equation. So even if we make this look a little more complicated and we add more letters and maybe more operations, we still do the same process. Here, I want X alone. And so that means I want to move anything that's with X on the same side of the equal sign. I want to move it to the other side of the equal sign. And I will uh, sort of start from the things furthest away from X. So I'm going to move this plus Y. This plus Y is going to come over here. When it goes to the opposite side of the equation, it is going to do the opposite operation. So instead of being plus y, it's going to be minus y. And that's the only thing that changed for now. Now I need to get the k away from the y. Right now, k is multiplying x. And so when I move it over here, it's going to divide, but we have to be careful. It's going to divide that entire side of that equal sign. So it's not just going to divide u. It's not just going to divide minus y. It's going to divide the whole thing. So what I end up with is u minus y with a big fraction bar or big division bar, and then k is below it, dividing that whole side of the equation. And now I have solved for x. I've got x alone. 
And that is my final answer. It might look complicated. It might look like it's not done, but we can't do anything else to this. Um, and we've done what we wanted to. We, we solved for X. Here we're solving for X again. We want to get X alone. This time we have a proportion. Uh, we did proportions where we had numbers and one letter. We can do the same thing that we did with proportions here. We can multiply the top of one side by the bottom of the other. So I'm going to multiply C times R. And when we multiply two letters, all we can do is show that by writing them next to each other. And then I'm going to multiply X times D. And the goal here was to get X alone. We want X alone. We're solving for X. And so right now I have X times D. So I need to move D to the opposite side of the equal sign. It's multiplying X. So when it goes to the other side, it's going to divide the entire other side. It's going to do the opposite thing. When it was over here, it was multiplying. When I move it to the opposite side of the equal sign, it's going to be dividing, doing the opposite operation. We have X alone. And so we've solved this equation. So I have several for you to do. Please, if you need help, do ask. Well, while you're working, um, before you get to the end, get your question asked as soon as you have it. Take your time on these and good luck.